What is good, y'all? It's P.O.D. Kenya, and I am back with another podcast. For this interview, we got someone who's been rapping for almost really half a decade, if you really think about it. He, he's he been, man, he's been in pretty much one of the top faces, I feel like, for the 757 in this area. Um, he He's been, like, the moment he put his foot on the gas, he did not stop. It's been all gas, no brakes, and I really am excited to introduce y'all to Narrow Finesse. How you doing today, brother? Good, my boy. That's love. I appreciate all that. No, nah, it's real. It's real, man. So I feel like I want to uh, first start out with saying, like, you've been rapping for a while. Many people have different reasons for, you know, doing music. Um, what would you say is either the reason your inspiration for making rap or like a moment that made you think, fuck it, I'm gonna hop in the shit and do it. Shit, honestly, bro, I just started off it started off fun, you know, like strict Real. strictly fun. Hell yeah. But then as I developed and shit, everybody getting in my ear, like, bro, you really could do this. You know what I'm saying? You could make it. Once Hell I started yeah. to realize that, I started taking it more serious. I'm like, damn, I could really change a lot of people's lives with this shit. For real, for real. Yeah, I feel like that's how it started out for me, too. I was just, uh, I I ain't pick up a pen, I ain't really rap or anything, but, like, it was, like, Woodside Jam. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just try that shit. And people was like, bro, you don't even, you like, because, you know, like, I'm a quiet type, for real, so, like, people didn't really uh, expect that. But when I came in and did that shit, the first feeling I got off of that that's what made me think, like, I wouldn't mind doing this for, you know, for the rest of my life type shit. So, like, I feel that, like, it's real. Like, it starts out as fun, but then once that shit hits you mm-hmm. and you realize you can actually make an impact, that shit's powerful, bro. That shit give me a different feeling, like, when I'm spitting and everybody just know my music or everybody tuned in. Exactly. It's, it's a adrenaline rush, a way different feeling. Yeah, like, I literally, like, would remember being like at the bus stop, you know, chilling. I, I go on Instagram. This nigga dropped another tape. I'm, I'm talking about even back in like Norfolk when like you first dropped the first block poet. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, this nigga, like he's starting to form his sound. Cause like every tape after that, that's when you really started getting into your sound and making it your own. So that's when I gained my confidence for so. Hell yeah. And niggas could see that too, and that shit paid off too. Cause once once you're confident with your music, there's really like nothing holding you back because you feel that. So you know the rest of the people listening is gonna feel that. Definitely. Yeah, bro. So yeah, I definitely feel the way you started. Um, I would say, um, as far as like motivation goes, because like you've been consistent, you haven't really let up, you haven't taken too many breaks. What keeps that motivation? What keeps you dropping, showing love to the people? Keep, you know, giving your fans what they want for real. Honestly, bro, I really like, I just learned to love this shit. You know what I'm saying it's my mm. real, my real passion. Plus, I got a son. Oh, yeah. I know if I take off with this. Oh, yeah. My son. He's he going to be straight. He's going he to be straight. He ain't going to have to go through none of the shit I went through. Facts. That's how it should be too. It just it just light a fire under me, man. I was telling that I was when I was talking to CJ, he was saying the same thing, bro. He was like, Man, I want bro, like I really like came from nothing type shit. So like I want I don't want my kids to see that. I want my kids to have the best. And I was like, Yeah. Exactly. And yeah, that's real. That's real for real. And like man, that's it. You got to make sacrifices with this shit, like... Exactly. Sometimes I'd be like, damn, I'm going too hard. Mm-hmm. I mean, but it's all a part of it. If you want to... No risk, no reward, basically. Exactly. You know what I'm That's the point. And, like, all it takes... Like, I was telling this with... Wavy's really the first one who really, like, solidified this in my head. He was like, bro... Because, like, I think, like, I didn't drop for, like, a year. I was just chilling at the crib. This nigga was looking at me like... My nigga, you have all these fucking songs and you're not going to drop, bro. He was like, my nigga, we are, he's like, cause like, we're 22. So this nigga like sat down, he's like, bro, 
we are getting too fucking old, bro. We, ha- <laughs> bro, we have to make it, bro. And the way that you're just sitting on all this music and not dropping shit, bro. Like, bro, literally all it takes is one song. Fuck if you don't think the rest of the people are going to fuck with it. All it takes is one song. And if you play your cards right, you will be set for life. No, that's real. There's so many people who just blew up off of one song and they are straight. <laughs> that's definitely true. They are straight. So that's just like just having that go in my head. All it takes is just one song to go. One song to go. And even the songs that don't go. Every single view is an individual person. It definitely all counts. And you never know, like, even like niggas, bro, niggas really just be freestyling off the dome, but like you saying what you feel. And when people hear that, that relates to them and that impacts them. Passion, man. And exactly. you, I be telling people when you passionate with your music and not just saying whatever, mm-hmm. people is going to feel it. Exactly. No, nah, that's real. So I would say. As far as the present goes, you dropped another tape, Mr. Can't Miss. Yes, and sir. obviously, there were no misses on that shit either, bro. <laughs> love, um, love, bro. Yeah, bro. So, like, do you have a process when you're forming your tapes together? Or do you just record and then when something, you know, when you got a good amount of songs, you come together? Because I remember you saying on your story, you got five like 500 songs and i felt that shit too because I, w- I would just be scrolling scrolling through shit and like i could just drop a tape but like is there like a process or are you just like i feel like this would be a good collective of songs i gotta give the people what they want honestly as i learn more i try to be more strategic with it like mm-hmm. what do my audience want to hear you feel me i try to even from the intro to the outro i try to hook them Mm-hmm. So, you feel me? That's the that's the key. You hook them, and then just let it ease on through the tape. And your tapes are an easy listen too. I notice you don't make it no more than ten songs. You know what I'm saying, either ten or nine. If it's an EP, seven or five for real. Because you know people will get people will get tired of the same voice and the, mm-hmm. like. You know how you will listen to the to a few beats and they just start sounding the same. Like, yeah, yeah, you get like that. No, nah, I I definitely felt like in recuperate. You definitely switched up on that. Like you, you definitely like you know showed like you can be in more than one lane with it on that shit. Like yeah, I definitely felt that tape because I felt like when you that's like the comeback. Like nigga, ain't shit stop, bro. <laughs> sure. Y'all know ain't shit stop. I'm still here, bro. That's one of my favorite yeah, ones. That, that that's a, definitely one of my favorite tapes as well, bro. Like some of them songs I made in the hospital, actually. Like in the hospital bed. That's just crazy, bro. Yeah. That like, just crazy. Put me in a different mode, like. Oh, uh, for real. I really had my cousin, he okay, but he got hit by like a Ford F one fifty. That nigga yeah. broke his arm. Uh something close to his ankle, but not his ankle. And he was in the hospital for a minute. I think he he actually just got out uh, yesterday. But while he was in there, he had his laptop. He had some headphones. He's like, "Yo, I need you to I need you to just hop on the song with with me real quick." And you know, he he made a song in the hospital. So like, yeah. I feel like that's definitely what I would have done because like I can't just sit there, bro. Like especially when you got so much to say. You know what I'm saying music, your passion, right? Of course. So now I'm saying yeah. that's the only thing that was easy in my mind. Oh, yeah. I never been hurt in my life. I never, you know what I'm saying? I never mm-hmm. went through no shit like that. So for me yeah. to be stuck in this room, I, can't, I don't and got that nobody shit will, here. Yeah, that shit will drive you crazy too, being isolated. You know, know what I'm saying? saying? Mentally, I was really going through it. So I, I told my dukes one day, I'm just like, just bring my headphones. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all, all niggas need. need, for real. That's all <laughs> niggas need. For real. So yeah, man. That shit. That shit is inspiring. Like, I, whenever I think of that, I think of there's this one producer named uh, Jay Dilla. He like was um, in that like 2006 Kanye era. Mm-hmm. He had a rare like blood disease, so he was on his deathbed. On his deathbed, he made one final beat tape, and then died three days later. That's honestly some shit I would do. I would make one last tape in the hospital and go. I never. That shit like. <laughs> When I hear shit like that, I was just like, yeah, bro, if 
if that music's just in you, bro, you're going to find a way to get that out. Even if you know time is up, bro. He could have been like, man, there's no point. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just ride it out. But he's like, nah, bro. He saw this as, man, I got one more chance to impact people and have that shit last forever. Real shit. That's how I, that's how I approach it every time. Like, exactly. Go hard. Mm. And like, it's, yeah, it's like, I would think, um, this one time I got into a car crash, that's what put it in my head because like the whole front of the car smushed in and it stopped right at my knee. And like pretty much it was the back of this big ass gas tank. Mm-hmm. So if I hit that shit wrong, that shit would have. was old. Yeah. So like I was looking back at like my tape, only had two tapes out, uh, both seven songs. I was like, do I feel like if I were to die right now, would I feel like I have given enough that I had to offer? And I was like, fuck no. Mm-hmm. And like at first I was discouraged about that. But like when I really like collecting my thoughts, like from being shook up and like really sat back and think about it, like, yo, I'm still here. I can still put this shit out. And I can actually like I, I wasn't going to play around anymore. And another thing I was going to say is like when you were saying like you're strategic with it, I definitely noticed that as well, because um, I was thinking like, you know, if we, even if we're not in the industry, we got to move like these industry niggas for real Damn. and even drop like them. So, like, that's why it's good to have a little podcast after you drop a tape. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's all about like. I really sit down and will study people's careers, not on no, actually not, nah, because I could be a fan. I'm, I'm a fan of a lot of artists, mm-hmm. but I would just watch the blueprint. They oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And just go with my next move. No, that's a that's a good thing to do, too. Because, like, even, like, Jay-Z said, like, in his songs, he's like, I'm giving y'all the game right here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all what just got to tap in and listen. It be in front of people's faces. If people don't mm-hmm. take what others give them, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen to every single thing. I'm going to soak up every lesson I can get and just try to see how I can work it into my, oh, yeah. my situation. Oh, yeah. And it's the ones that observe that be catching people off guard the most mm-hmm. because they're the ones who have assessed the situation the clearest. They're not in the situation thinking about it. They're seeing it from a third person point of view. So they have the most knowledge and they're be the way that they can go at it, go at it from a different angle that the other people don't see. So that's definitely real. Yeah. And like, I would see like with every tape, gotta have a video with it. That just, prom- you know what I'm saying? That just promotes it. It's a must. Y'all go tap in with more films. Hell yeah, and bro, and the Frozen films ones be lit too. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, tapping with more films, Frozen films, all everything I see from them is crispy. Oh, and always, <laughs> always, man. It's so, some hard workers, bro. They they really they passionate about that music shit too. That's mm-hmm. when you when you get the pieces of the puzzle to come together. Oh so yeah, it's become a masterpiece, bro. Yeah, I remember I was um, me and uh Jaden. We were talking with, uh, before he passed away, Capone, and he was, like, really putting that shit into perspective for me because he was like, yo, like, y'all got talent, but y'all y'all need a team. Y'all need everybody who does their own thing and is good at it that mm-hmm. contributes to the whole movement. Once y'all have that, y'all will be set. And, like, I never, that's one thing I never, like, you know, forgot from him. That's a good mindset to have, and that's definitely what I'm going to try to have moving forward. So like just having people in your corner that just do their shit passionately and it uplifts both of y'all's art. Mm -hmm. That's how it has to be. A lot of people want to be, that's why a lot of these groups and stuff don't work because everybody want to be the face. Everybody Mm want to be the rapper. Yeah. Some people, my group, I tell you, we not even know, but just my, the people I surround myself with, Mm -hmm. they willing to do whatever for anyone else to make it. And I'm the same way. Whatever That's how it need, should be. I play my position in however you need me to. Exactly. And you got to be proud of other people when they have the spotlight. Facts. Because you know that shit's going to come around with you because you're in their circle. You know what I'm saying? There's no need to be greedy. At all. Everybody can eat. Like, when people understand that, bro, like, I really feel like 
Newport News and especially 757 can have that Atlanta status. We're just, everybody is up. Everybody's straight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can see that shit. Man, we definitely got the potential. We got the talent. Like, we, it's Easily. just, everybody just so, I don't want to say brainwashed, but it's along them lines. Like, everybody yeah. just want to be the tough guy. Everybody want to be the scammer, the getting bitches. Like, that's, What's, yeah, it's like, you you really just got to be yourself. Like, that. that's really, like, when shit gets the easiest because Facts. you you have no persona to hold up. It's just you. Facts. And then you're you, so you're automatically going to have a different spin than everyone else. But if you try to be like everyone else, how do you expect to I'm pop saying. out? How do you expect to stand out? I'm saying that's facts. That is facts, my Exactly, boy. bro. Like, man, I, I, I see it, bro. I, I see Virginia taking off. Piggybacking off that. Everybody got too much pride here. Like, oh, we, yes. we a real prideful state. Like, oh, yes. Man. Personally, I, me personally, I could really put my pride aside. Like, a lot of men can't say that. Like, Oh, yeah. They always got to be right. You feel me? Like, yeah. I have no problem putting my pride aside. Exactly. Like, the moment people... Bro, because it's really nothing to admit you wrong, bro. Just admit you wrong and move on from that. You know what I'm saying? And watch how you elevate in life when you start doing that. Like, exactly. Because niggas notice when they see that, you know, being genuine, being real, not trying to fake nothing. Right. So I feel like the last question, well, the last two, I would say, um, what if any, because I know you're still going to be dropping for sure. You're, you're really on the uh, you might drop four tapes this year, the way it's looking. I'm not going to I'm really trying to put in some work. Like, like for real. So, like, do you have any um idea about, like, a future drop coming up or just for now tap into uh, Mr. Can't Miss? Not for so tap into Mr. Can't Miss, but I do got a show coming up in New York. 420 of it. Solid. For that for hot timers, man. Jim Jones, Joel, Santana, A Boogie. Man, see what I'm saying, bro? Like, this shit is right in our face, bro. Yeah, right. Niggas can really take off of this shit, bro. Niggas ain't gonna stop. You already know that. So it's just gonna happen. We just gotta stay. And that's just really gonna come out of nowhere. For yeah. real, for real. Like, the grind's gonna see, it's gonna seem long while it's happening. And that's why I really try to enjoy like while I'm down right now because that's just really gonna make it even that much more impactful when niggas get that shit. Thanks. So yeah, bro, definitely keep going. We we don't got too many New York listeners right now, but like send send that brother your love, man. Send him your support. You know he's because you know he's gonna rock out and he's gonna put some more faces God. looking this way. So. That's a definite bet. No, that. Hell yeah, bro. But nah, it was good. It was definitely good talking with you, bro. I'm definitely excited to see the moves you're making now. You keep going, bro. Keep going for real, cause you you doing it for real. That's Are there cool. any final remarks you'd like to say to the podcast? Say to end things up. First off, that's love, bro. I appreciate you. you know what I'm saying I want you no to keep problem. going. Definitely, I'm always supporting you. Don't ever forget that. Appreciate that for real. For the people, just always stay consistent, man. Be yourself. It ain't nothing wrong with being different. You don't always got to be like the next person. And don't compare your life to one another's because everybody on a different journey. Everybody at their own pace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's real. That's a real way to end it out. Now, with that being said, y'all be great. Y'all be safe. Y'all keep chasing that bag and support, uh, you know, support Nail Finesse. You know he got music coming out and tap in because he has plenty of music out already so y'all got plenty of time to catch up with that being said i'll catch y'all in the next one peace
tell a joke, but I won't never tell no lies Unless somebody come around me asking about them crimes I'm busting off the drink, it got me finna bust around She keep begging me to stay, I'm telling her I ain't got no time I just had to crank it up, they try to take me out my job And I came out round the hustlers, like Rob 49 Feel like I should tell my bitch to tweet, done lost your mind Bitch, I'm pissing on my enemy, if you goofy, get a fine Niggas love it when it's gloomy, but they hate it when it's shine They ain't never wanna walk with us, they asking for a ride On the ground like Tony Hawk, the wheel spinning when we slide Might go rollin' at the beach, that's just so I can catch a vibe I have been hit that for a week, cause I been tryna break a spine, nigga uh, Turn the thigh bitch to a dime, nigga I'm sure why you drive, nigga Brody Tweak ain't got no mind Put these shades on like I'm blind Nigga fool, I ain't see the signs God damn Get off the phone with Mitch, you know he getting high Girl, I ain't ignoring you, but you blowing up my line He gon' rap that gangsta shit, but won't commit a crime Bitch, I probably tell a joke, but I won't never tell no lie Unless somebody come around me asking about them crimes Busting off the drink, it got me finna bust a rhyme She keep begging me to stay, I'm telling her I ain't got the time I just had to crank it up, they try to take me out my time